YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber, and today I'm coming at you guys with something slightly different. But before we get started, I just want to say that I hope this finds you in good health and spirits. So I went to my local Walmart and I purchased a wall clipper trimmer combo for $34.99 in hopes that I could do a haircut tutorial that might help you the viewer who's either one cutting their own hair or two cutting someone's hair that they love. Again, I'm going to ensure that I only use everything that was included that way it's easier for you the viewer to follow along. So stay tuned, stay focused, be blessed and be a blessing. Let's go. Alright, in this haircut tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade the sides. I'm also going to show you how to cut the top using the scissors that were included or the guards. That way you could decide which one's going to be easier for you. I'm also going to show you how to connect the blend into the length on top using clipper over comb on one side and using guards on the other. I'm going to start off by using the comb that was included and I'm going to comb my client's hair and get everything to lay in its natural direction. Alright, so now that I got everything laying down nicely, I'm going to come in with my wall clipper with the lever closed and I'm going to begin to set and create my first guideline, which is going to be my bald guideline. After my guide's created, I'm going to go ahead and completely remove all the hair remaining under the guide that was created. As I get towards the back of my client's head, I am giving it somewhat of a drop and that's because I want to complement my client's head shape. So when setting in this guideline, you want to take that into consideration. Once you're done cleaning everything up, you're going to want to make sure that both sides look evenly before you move on to your next step. Alright, so now that my bald guideline and shape was created, I'm going to come in with my number one guard on my clipper with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline. I'm going to continue to follow the shape that was created, that way I keep everything consistent with this blend. Alright, so now that my guide was created with the lever open, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of it. And as I come in with my lever closed, I'm going to go about midpoint of the guide that was created. And I am going to notice that some weights left behind on the original guide at the bottom and it's not going to be removed by that one close. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how to remove that in the next step. Once I get to about midpoint of this guide created with the lever closed, I'm then going to extend my lever to about midpoint and I'm going to continue to blend out the rest of the weight that I see. Alright, so before we completely blend out this guide, we just want to make sure that everything's looking consistent and even on both sides. Alright, so now it's time to remove the weight that I'm showing you that that one close left behind. 
So I'm going to come in with the half guard with the lever fully open. And I'm going to begin to attack right above the weight that I see. Again, that's right above the weight that I see. And then I'm going to use the fade down process, meaning I'm going to close my lever as needed, working my way down until that guide's completely blended out. If for some reason you don't have this half guard, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fully extend your lever and begin to attack the weight that you see only using the corner of your blade. Again, only using the corner of your blade. Alright, so now that that's blended out, I'm going to come in with my number two guard with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline. I am going to give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide. That way I keep everything consistent with this blend. I'm also going to use that slight um, flick out motion, if you will, as I get towards the top of the hair because I'm not looking to set in a harsh guideline right now. So again, I'm going to use that flick out motion as I get towards the top. That way, if a guide is created, it's created softly and it doesn't give me trouble removing it. So now that my guideline was created with the lever open, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of this guide. But this time I'm going to keep my lever closed and I'm going to go right up to underneath where I just left off with that two fully open. I am noticing some weight left behind so I'm going to show you how to remove that in the next step. So now that I cleaned everything up with my number two, right where I showed you, I'm still noticing weight. So I'm going to come in with my number one guard with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to attack this weight that I see. And you're going to see that I use a lot of the corner of my blade and I'm going to again apply that fade down technique, meaning I'm going to come in with my lever fully open. I'm going to begin to attack the weight that I see and I'm going to close my lever as needed, working my way down until that guide's completely blended out.
All right, so now that my blend's starting to come together, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to cut the top. And my client wants finger length on top, and I'm gonna show you how to achieve that using the scissors that were included, and I'm also gonna show you how to achieve that using the clipper guards that were included. So I'm gonna start off by pulling up the center section of my client's hair with my two fingers. Once I pull that section of hair up, I'm going to make sure that I hold everything tightly and I'm going to also make sure that the bottom of my fingers are placed on his head following the shape of it. Anything that falls above my fingertips, I'm going to go ahead and remove. Once I make that first cut, I'm either going to make my way to the left side or to the right side and when I pull up a new section of hair, I'm also going to make sure to include a previous cut from the section that I just cut that way I use it as a guide or a reference point in this case my client does want finger length so it's kind of a no-brainer that I'm just gonna cut everything that falls above the fingertips once I ensure that my fingers are placed nice and tightly to the shape of his head All right, so again, if you're not comfortable using the scissors that were included, finger length for me happens to be a number six guard. And so I would suggest that you start off with a higher guard and work your way down in guards until you find the length that's comfortable for your client. So in this case, again, he wants finger length. So I'm gonna come in with the number six guard with the lever closed, and I'm gonna begin to knock down and cut everything evenly on top. Alright, so now that everything's cut evenly on top, I'm going to show you how to connect the blend to that length using clipper over comb. So I'm going to come in with my clipper with the lever fully open. The reason why I choose to come in with the lever open is it's a lot more forgiving when you use the lever open opposed to coming in with that lever closed. When you use the lever closed, you're going to get a really nice cut but it's going to be very blunt and you might create some type of a guide or a look that you may struggle removing. So I would suggest you come in with the lever open or even placing a number one guard on the clipper just as a safety until you get comfortable performing this. So when you're doing clipper over comb, the main thing to remember that's really important is the way you decide to angle your comb because however you decide to angle that comb is going to be the shape and the look that you're creating for your client. So in this case, I want to maintain a nice, clean, somewhat of a boxy shape for my client. So when it comes to angling his comb, I'm going to place the comb on his scalp and then I'm going to angle it to about a 45 to a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to cut anything that falls in the teeth of that comb. And that's going to allow that blend to connect to that length on top. All right, so for those of you not comfortable with clipper over comb, no need to fear, clipper guards are here. I'm now gonna show you how to connect that blend to that length on top using guards. So I originally knocked everything down to a number six closed. So I'm gonna come in with the number four guard with my lever fully open, and I'm gonna begin to debulk and knock down this weight that I see. I'm gonna use that fade down process, meaning I'll close my lever as needed, working my way down. One thing I do want to mention is it's really important that you do not take this clipper guard through the roundabout of your client's head, meaning you don't want to take this number four following the shape of your client's head into that length on top. 
as you get towards the top what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna allow that guard to come off the head. So if you look at your client and imagine he had a crown on his head, right when you get towards that crown, you want that clipper guard to start pulling off. You do not wanna follow the roundabout shape to his head. So I'm gonna clean everything up with my guard open and then I'll close it, working my way down as needed. And I know that number four guard is not gonna blend into that number two guard. That's why I just threw on my number three guard and I'm gonna come in with that lever fully open, continuing where I just left off with that number four closed. And I'm gonna continue to fade down, closing my lever as needed until this guide's completely blended out. I originally faded up to a number two open, so this number three closed is going to blend right into that. All right, so now that everything's coming together with this haircut, I'm going to go ahead and do some cleanup work and kind of finalize everything. I am using that little trimmer that was included to knock everything down here. I don't feel like I need to walk you guys through anything right here. It's kind of self-explanatory. So I'm just going to let you ride out to that beat. And speaking of beats, I want to say shout out to my boy at Tito Beats for this fire that you hear in your ear. I'm going to drop his link in the description. Make sure you go check my man's out i also want to say again that i hope this reaches everybody in good health and spirits and i know things are crazy right now but you guys need to just keep the positivity and keep faith that we will overcome everything and um yeah enjoy this beat y'all i appreciate you All right, so now that everything's finalized, I'm gonna begin to apply some products, style out my client, and give you guys a finished look. So here it is. If you got anything useful out this, I ask that you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you stick around. It's only gonna get doper from here. I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.